everything becomes open source once you learn this skill as a hacker. So let's take a look at this ret to win binary here. And this one, if we just run it, we can see it here, prompts us for input and then exits. Might there be a security issue in this? Well, it is a binary file, so we can't really read it by just catting it to the screen or anything like that. It looks like a bunch of gibberish. So let's load it in a disassembler called binary ninja. Since we loaded in there, we'll start at the main function. Fortunately for us, this is not a strip binary. We can see the main function not really doing too much aside from calling this pwn me function. If you look at that, it's printing some stuff to the screen. It's allocating hex 20, which is a 32 byte buffer, and then reading user input into a 56 byte buffer. And if we look at the man page for the read command, what we'll see is that this one is the size field here. So there's a mismatch in the sizes, which will lead to a buffer overflow vulnerability, which will allow us to hijack the execution flow of the program. So we can load another function like this ret to win function and actually read the flag, or we could try to maybe get remote code execution as well.